Hi readers, good news coming to you from my new phone. It's me, here I am. It's just really beautiful and sunny outside, so I need my sunnies. Um, I have a new phone, so I will be making lots of videos, reading lots of books to you. That's the good news. The bad news is I couldn't find a book I wanted to read today, which is silly because you've seen I have a lot of books. Um, so I picked out a whole pile that I'm going to read this summer, but I didn't know that they were ones I wanted to read today, but I'll show them to you. Here's one about sunflowers, which I will read when I have sunflowers. Here is a Henry and Mudge book about a sleepover. I wonder if you'll be going on any sleepovers this summer. Here's Henry and Mudge at the ocean, which I'll want to read by the ocean. Here's a book about going to a baseball game, which I'll want to read at the baseball stadium. Here is a book. This was one of my favorite books for a long time. It's called The Quilt Maker's Gift. And, oh, hello bird. This year, um, I saw a dance performance that was based on this book. So I'm excited to read this book because I think it will make, you'll make a lot of, well, some of my watcher, listener, friends who are watching these stories will make some connections with the dance show. So I just feel like I need to be wrapped up in a quilt when I read this one. Hello, bird. And then mm, one of my most favorite books, which I have referenced often lately because it is lupin season right now and i finally have my first lupins growing at my house miss rumpius because when i grow up i want to be an old lady who lives by the sea and plants beautiful things to make the world more beautiful so i will read this book to you when i have a jar of lupins next to me so what does that leave me for today well i have this book which is um currently holding up my phone it's a weird but true and I actually like to leave these weird but true books in my car so if my kids are bored in the car I can say why don't you grab one of those books out because they always find something interesting that becomes a conversation point so instead today I have that whole pile for another day and I hope you're excited to hear those stories but for today I have a classic the foot book by Dr. Seuss maybe you know this one and when I opened it up to take a little peruse through it today, I found this piece of paper, which I don't even know, I don't know what it's from. It's from sometime during remote learning because this paper tells me that, but I don't know. On here it says we are gonna share a Spanish song and have some literacy time. So I think it must've been a time when um, I needed to host class online, which I'm glad I'm not doing anymore. The foot book. Here we go, the foot book. I think this was mine when I was a kid. The foot book. Left foot, left foot, right foot, right. Okay, stop. Do you know your left foot and your right foot? If you don't, figure that out right now. Ask someone, where's my left, where's my right? Or you can do the old trick. Um, put up your two hands. It's gonna be reverse here. Put up your two hands and which one makes an L? That is your left. So remember, I'm opposite of you here. So get a grown up at your house to tell you. Feet in the morning, feet in the night. Left foot, left foot, left foot, right. Feet in the sunshine today. Wet foot, dry foot, high foot, low foot. I went in a puddle today and I got a wet foot. Front feet, back feet, red feet, black feet. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. How many, many feet you meet. Can you imagine keeping track of them all? Slow feet, quick feet, trick feet, sick feet. Look at those trick feet. I can't even juggle with my hands. Definitely not my feet. Up feet, down feet, here come clown feet. Those are often really big. Small feet, big feet. Here come big feet. His feet, her feet, fuzzy fur feet. Giant fuzzy fur feet. In the house and on the street, how many, many feet you meet. Maybe you could count all the feet on that page. Don't forget there's some in the house too. When I count feet, I like to count them by twos. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Miss Honey. Up in the air feet, over a chair feet. Leap, 
Don't do that at home. More and more feet. 24 feet. Can you count those feet by twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. Twenty-four feet. I don't even have that many feet in my house. I barely had twenty-four feet in my classroom this year. Here come more and more and more feet. I like the mismatched socks. Although it would be rare to find me in mismatched socks, I do appreciate them for other people. Left foot, right foot, feet, feet, feet. Oh, how many feet you meet. That's the end. Makes me think that maybe you could do a little math project today. You could see how many feet are in your house or how many feet were at camp if you were at camp or how many feet are in your whole family, including all your family members who maybe you don't get to see every day. Uh, maybe you count all the feet of the animals in your house or all the animals you've ever owned. So you could do a little bit of math. Counting by twos, unless somebody just has one, and then you just count one. Or maybe you have a pet that has three feet, and then you can count differently. So I'm glad to be back with my new fancy phone and fancy camera, and I'm happy to have my stack of books to read to you. Although I won't read them all next and next and next, because I will go to the library, and I always find my favorite books at the library. And if you haven't gone to your library yet, make sure that you go because you can sign up to be part of the summer reading program. Um, and then you can read lots of books at your house and the library will give you something special for that. Or at least the library around my house does that. So happy reading day. Happy back together day. Happy um, bird is really loud behind me day. And I'll see you soon readers.